a lot of a lot of cheating. They're generally very open and flirtatious. Conservative. Hi, Flood. Hey, hello. Hello. <laughs> Treat them well. You know, a lot of Filipino girls would actually prefer to date an older guy. Really, you can live on hundred dollars a month here. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm uh, Moshe. I'm uh, Moses. Moses, where are you from? From England. What brings you down here to the Philippines? Uh, plane ticket from Vietnam. Yeah. Um, but it was mostly because my friend told me that the Philippines is an amazing place. What's the dating scene like here in the Philippines? Have you met uh, a lot of people? Been on any dates? Dating scene in the Philippines. It's interesting. Um, I would say there's a lot of people that you can meet, both travelers and Filipinos. Um, in terms of culture, I think that as Westerners, we come with a, a very strong idea of what uh, Asian dating is like, which yep. is that it's very conservative. Hi, Vlad! Hey, hello! Hello! Hi! Hi! I see you so friendly right now, as yeah, we speak, right? They're very friendly, they're very flirty, they'll mm -hmm. come up to you and they'll say hi, or smile at you. I think Filipinos are, yeah, they're generally very open and flirtatious. Mm -hmm. um, that's coming from the guys as well, they'll flirt with you as well, but okay. um, it's not my thing personally. Uh, in terms of the dating, the perception that people have is that Filipinos are very conservative, that you know it's a very strong Catholic country, mm -hmm. uh, that you you know you have to go on like 10 dates and then get married uh, before anything happens. Yeah. But the reality is completely different. Uh, they're very westernized and they're very liberated in terms of dating. Yeah. Um, if someone likes you enough, um, there's probably going to be a good chance that uh, they'll want to take things further. Um, and I think the majority of girls here are looking for a relationship, but are also open to you know just having fun. Yeah, okay. yeah I would say Pretty that cool. that would good. be my perception of dating in the Philippines. Good to know. So a lot of positive things. It seems like any negative downsides. I would say there are a lot of negative things. For example, lying about having boyfriends is the number one thing. Um, like, yeah, a lot of a lot of cheating. There's a lot okay. of cheating. You got to be very careful. If you're gonna date a girl, you sh and and you really like her, you need to go through her Facebook okay. with someone who speaks the local language and see what her posts are saying, because a lot of the times they're gonna tag their current boyfriend mm. uh, or ex-boyfriend, and a girl might tell you, for example, you know, I'm innocent, uh, I've only been with one guy or whatever. And you can see on their Facebook that oh, this is not okay. true. Um, a lot of them want to sell this idea of purity because they mm -hmm. believe, and a lot of guys do believe that uh, there's a lot of purity here in yeah. terms of like not having previous partners. But um, most of the time, that's not true. Mm. You know, there, there's a lot of judgment in Filipino society um, from a very young age, so it's kind of um, built into them to. Uh, not tell the full truth about their dating history, okay. you know, and and rather than to say I don't want to tell you because they don't like to be confrontational a lot of them, yeah. they'd rather actually just lie about it and mm. avoid the topic entirely. So that's okay. a different cultural approach uh, that I'm not a fan of. Personally. Hey, well, what do you think of like jealousy or other traits that Filipinos might have? Because yeah. I hear that sometimes they can be really clingy or jealous. I think, yeah, they can be very, very jealous. Um, and I think that they have the perception that, as a foreigner, that as soon as I walk out the door, I'm swamped by girls mm -hmm. who are constantly trying to hook up with me and stuff like that. But that's not the case. Mm. Of course, there's a couple girls who will just say hi yeah. to me, but uh, realistically, that's not the case. And um, uh, yeah, they, they get very jealous very easily. Mm -hmm. And the dangerous thing about jealousy um, is that it can lead to emotions, that can lead to actions, that can lead to cheating. I see. So they can think, oh, he didn't want to meet up with me tonight. Yeah, he's probably hooking up with another girl, when really maybe I just didn't want to go out that night. I just wanted yeah. to lie in my bed watching Netflix. Mm -hmm. And then maybe as a result of that, they'll go and do something to feel uh, empowered. Because they're yeah. oh, he's doing something, well, I have to do something. Screw him, you know. And there's a lot of drama, a lot of... Um, using like notes, Instagram mm. stories, basically uh, indirect forms of communication rather than being direct. So I would say communication is definitely a problem. Um, like a lot of, there's a lot of pride. Filipinos are very uh, proud people. Mm -hmm. um, and they, you know, the saying is pride cometh before the fall. 
uh, which basically is saying that your pride can get in the way of your best, um, you know, what's best for you. And so if you can't communicate and be open and honest about your intentions, about what you're doing, about how you're feeling, because you're scared to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. this, is, this goes for any form of dating, whether it's serious, whether it's casual, you know, that it's really not going to progress very far. And if it does, it's going to be toxic. Okay, well, thank you for all of that. Now, do you think it's going to be different for someone? Because you seem like a younger guy, so yeah. maybe dating seems a bit different for you. Do you think, because you see a lot of older guys here with maybe some of the younger Filipinos? Yeah, so as young guys, we do actually, we kind of have to compete with the older guys because, <laughs> well, Filipinos might have a perception that an older guy has a lot more money, that they're much more safer, that they can take care of them, that there's less demand, they're less demanding. So, yeah. You know, a lot of Filipino girls would actually prefer to date an older guy. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, as a young guy myself, um, they might they might not necessarily uh, be as attracted to me um, in terms of that, yeah. but they might be more attracted to me in terms of what I bring in other ways, which would be like youthfulness, yeah. energy, yeah. Um, and not being too bad looking, okay, you know, yeah, that young helps, looking, course, it helps yeah. a little bit. Uh, what is like the biggest difference between dating in the West and compared to here? I know we talked about a lot of the stuff, mm. but is there like a glaring difference between West and East here? I think in the West, people are more open to actually saying what they think. Yeah. And for sure, Western girls are not as afraid about the judgment that you might be pre presenting to them. Yeah. So, for example, if you if if you meet a girl and she's hanging out with a guy friend and you're asking oh what, what kind of friend is this to you yeah. like she'll be mostly she'll be honest about yeah. it uh whereas in the philippines they will say oh it's just a friend when you know that it's not because they're touching each other yeah or it's my cousin or my brother or yeah something. it's my cousin it's my brother something like this so you have more like open communication in the west i think yeah. People are more willing to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. um, I would not say that dating uh, Western girls is worse in any way that, or better in any way. I would say it's it's pretty similar, actually. Okay. Um, the the main difference I would say would be in terms of like uh, educational level. So. Western girls have a much higher level of education compared to um, girls in the Philippines. Depends where you are in age, of course, uh, other places will have higher levels, but definitely you can have more detailed conversations about a lot of things. That's a generalization though, because yeah. you're always going to meet people here who are smart as well, yeah. and you can have those kind of deep conversations about, uh, you know, science or whatever yeah, it is you're interested in. Yeah. Um, also, the more uh, I'd say, Western girls are more willing to split the bill as okay. well. Um, like they will often want to pay the bill. There's mm -hmm. uh, more feminism in the West, so they also see themselves as being equal, mm -hmm. rather than uh, here where they're still it's very very patriarchal. So as a man, you're expected to pay for everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's a that's a different kind of. But do you get anything different in return, right? Like, I mean, the fact that you're paying the bill does that automatically give you some sort of behavioral traits coming towards you, or some, I don't know, not to obviously be just a woman. Right. Do they bring anything else to the table aside from themselves? If you're paying for everything, right? So what do yeah, they I would I would say that they they may be more a little bit more sweet, a bit more caring. Okay. So they show more affection. I they guess. show more affection, mm -hmm. and. Yeah, like if you're paying for that meal, they'll probably want to go on a second date with you uh, or take things further. Um, so that's, you know, that's that's nice. Um, Good thing cost of living here is a bit cheaper than the West, right? Yeah, so. it's much cheaper. It's yeah. much cheaper to go on dates here, although it depends where you go. Yeah. Uh, you can live on, really, you can live on, let's say, uh, $100 a month here. Oh, if really? You want. If bucks. you're smart, yeah. Okay. The, the way, the way you can live on hundred dollars a month is that you this is how Filipinos do it. Stay in a boarding house, that's one thousand five hundred dollars per month. One thousand five hundred pesos per month. A month. Per month, one thousand five hundred. Boarding house, you might even have your own private room for that. You might you won't live in the best location, but that's that's fine. Uh, 
Then you'll have the electricity bill on top of that, so that's 2,500. Food, rice, 45 pesos per kilo. Uh, you can eat 400 uh, grams of rice per day. Uh, and then, you know, you can do the maths and long story short, yeah, you can survive on like 100, 150 dollars. I'm out here wasting my money then, man. <laughs> yeah, but that's if you want to live really, really, really cheap. Yeah. Uh, you know, people like us, we're going to be going and uh, spending more money and, uh, you know, spending 150 pesos on a meal or something yeah. like that. Maybe even more, maybe 300 pesos if you want to go fancy. Yeah. But here, you know, um, you can get things like Xiao Mai, which is a street snack. Mm -hmm. Um, and spend about 40 pesos and that will fill you up completely and that's, wow. that's one meal, you know. Well, I'm sure a lot of guys appreciate that advice and yeah. uh, thank you for everything today, man. I appreciate this. Yeah, I would, I have one thing left to say, yeah. which is if you're going to come to the Philippines uh, and your intention is dating, my belief is that you should always be honest and, you know, don't, don't be a fuckboy lying to girls, tricking them into relationships, giving them STDs and stuff. You know, use a condom, um, be respectful, um, treat them well, and also, uh, yeah, be honest. Being honest, for me, it's really important because so, you don't want to be Solves all your breaking. problems, right? Being honest. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's best to be, to be straightforward about uh, your intentions. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of his experience, his answers. If you take your time to write it, I take time to respond. And if you want to know how to travel the world full time, how to work abroad, live abroad, and even retire abroad, I've created a brand new community. Go ahead and join a waiting list right now to gain access to myself in a private setting, access to a community where you can share your experiences, your thoughts, and access to full training videos from me on how to do everything I've been doing. Follow your dreams, follow your passion, do what you want to do, live your best life. Check out livingabroadclub.com. Link is in the description down below. Leave your thoughts down below let me know what's your experience about dating in the philippines if you've ever talked to somebody online or in a relationship right now with a filipina i'd love to compare different experiences now of course there is a little bit different between younger guys and older guys but that's pretty obvious anyway so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye